What's up, Assume Ball Reviews? Keegan here. And today, we're back with another episode of Assume News. Now, Assume News is not me talking about really if you should get this ball or not. This is just kind of, I like to be transparent about what all companies are making. And I've been doing this for a while, and they get good views. Uh, so I'm going to continue to do it. And honestly, like, no company is making bad equipment right now. So I just like to be able to, like, talk about it. We're not really going to compare anything uh, to different brands. Uh, but this is just kind of like, I like to be transparent about what other companies are making. And we can talk about them. And like I said, these get good views. Uh, Eternity Pie from 900 Global. First off, what I will say, positive about this ball already, I really like the shelf feel, I really like how it looks. Uh, what I'm interested in just kind of reading through this is, of course, like with the new whiskey rebranding uh, from Global, it is sometimes harder to tell, like, what is this ball going to do out of box? Uh, like with the old S series covers, it was a little bit easier to be able to just be like, okay, so it has like S70, which means it's going to be kind of a more medium strength cover. It really started at like, like their baseline was like, it's still hooked, which I understand why it wasn't zero, but like their baseline was like S26, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Maybe 23 on the U, on the then U, but you know, it was just, it was a little bit easier to tell like, what's going on. If it had the R on it, it was a little bit smoother. If it had the beta on it, it was still a little bit smoother in the baseline, but not as smooth as the R. It, it was just different levels of particle with the little letters out. But with the new 90. Reserve Blend 901. So the Reserve Blend uh, batch number, it's, of course, with the, you can guess from the 90, that's the series of balls. And I haven't talked about these yet, so this is going to be my video explaining the cover system. And then one, it just means it's the first iteration, not it's the weakest iteration of this cover, it's because this one's the 901 solid. So they have like a 902 and it's a pearl version. That one may be, it'll still be like more responsive, but it may not be like as, you know, have as much traction to do the same. Who really knows? They'll probably like, as more covers come out, it'll be easier to figure out what's going on with them. But in the meantime, it's just kind of a, I like they're trying to get an identity, but we'll have to see as more things come out what we're looking at here with the cover system. Uh, Epoch 4, same as the, the original Eternity, 2000 grit. But, yeah, it's just, uh, like, going back to explaining the cover, like, the Zen was in the 800 series, it has, uh, the gold label has 801. Uh, it's 701 for the exponent, because it's in the 700 series. Kind of just the same idea for all of them. But it's just, I'm very interested to see, like, how they go forward with it. Because the old system was, I understand, like, they made a little bit more like the and I actually really like the idea they're going for. It. Makes the releases feel just a little bit more, like, special when you give, like, the reserve batch thing. But at the same time, it was kind of like, it was so straightforward, and I liked that. But we'll have to see what actually ends up happening with it. Uh, it may be just as straightforward once we really get into the theory of it. Moving to Virtual Energy Blackout. The return of the Shape Lock HD core, which has been one of Storm's most popular cores. Uh, probably comparable to something like the... Well, let's, let's get into the specs first. First off, Shelf View. All black volleyball and silver logos. 
I also like to show off the people in this one. Uh, but it has REX Pro and then this stuff on it. You can change the stuff. I recommend changing the stuff if you get it. Uh, but REX Pearl is honestly, I think this is going to be at least somewhat comparable to like the Absolute from their current line. Or this is just essentially just going to be, I'm going to say it's going to be a better dark code. Like the dark code was okay, but I think this one is going to go a little bit better for people considering that it's just not going to have as as, as dynamic of a core, which I think is going to help people deal with the shape that Ariane's creates. But, uh, yeah, I'm actually a fan of the looks of both of these. I will not be throwing them, as of course, as a manager of Bowling Worlds, I, uh, store manager of, bowl of a Bowling World location, I, uh, I am contracted to the Brunswick brands, which I'm definitely not complaining about. I have drilled up some amazing stuff recently, even after the Quantum and Rhino reviews that in this week, uh, filming for them tomorrow. But, uh, yeah, super excited for all the, uh, for all you Storm guys that you're getting the virtual energy back. Uh, I know that one just really popular at all. And this one, not a bad option either. If you really want to stick with SBI. And that's why I do these videos. There are some people who feel like, I can push brands with all I want. They're going to want to stick with the SBI brands because that's what they know or it's the light. And uh, I can't really fault them for that. So that's, what these, that's who these videos are for. And I know that's a lot of you guys because these just get views. Like a lot of views. Like it's the only reason I really keep doing them. Uh, but also like as a personal buffer, I, I like to know what's up with these new bowling balls. So I like might as well make some accessible for that, right? Alright, I've been listening to Ball Reviews. Oh shoot, I missed again. I gotta get into work. So uh, I'll see y'all next time.